global warning. Today, Wednesday, September the 22nd, 2021, an earthquake of the magnitude between 5.8 and 6.0 struck Melbourne, Victoria, Australia around 9.15am local Australia time. Melbourne and parts of New South Wales, as well as Canberra, felt the tremors and the aftershocks. This was not some random act of human nature. It is not a global warming. It is a global warning. Listen. The Lord is not asleep, as you may think. Genesis 4.10-12 And he said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. So now you are cursed from the earth, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you till the ground... It shall no longer yield its strength to you. A fugitive and a vagabond, you shall be on the earth. Isaiah 24, 4-5 The ground itself mourns and withers. The soil languishes over the sin of its people. And the wealthy elite wither and languish. The people have polluted the earth beneath their feet by disobeying laws, violating truth, and breaking the ancient everlasting covenant. Luke 21, 25 to 26. Expect, expect to witness amazing and perplexing signs with the sun and the moon and the stars. The raging of the sea will bring desperation and turmoil to many nations. Earthquakes will bring panic and disaster. What men see coming to the earth will cause the fear of doom to grip their hearts. For they will even see the powers of the heavenly realm shaken. The Lord is not asleep as you may think. Justice will be served and with it, freedom restored. A great revival unlike ever before is upon us. Romans 8.21 That nature that includes all living creations created things by God will be set free from its bondage to decay and corruption and gain an entrance into the glorious freedom of God's children. At 1626, suddenly, suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the very foundations of the prison were shaken and at once, All the doors were open and everyone's shackles were unfastened. You know who you are. You have been warned. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Repent. Repent of your sins, turn from your wicked ways, and choose life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 10 verse 9, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. And believers, brothers and sisters, begin to rejoice and sing. As the prophet's bullock prophetically declare in praise and worship, 
Shake them shackles off, shake them off, shake them off, shake them shackles off, shake them off, shake them off, shake them shackles off, shake them off, shake them off today. God bless.